Hi guys, in this video, I will show you the 13 things you can do to uh, speed up your Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus and turn it into a beast mode. Now, um, these are the things that you can do to uh, speed up the phone. The, so your phone only come with a powerful hardware, but uh, some settings can uh, cause it to slow down. So here is the 13 things you can try out. First, we need to turn off the animations on the screen or uh, change the animation speed. So we need to go swipe down from your home screen, swipe down and tap on the settings icon. Then from here, we want to go into about phone and go into um, software information. And here, you, if you go down and you see there's a build number, you want to tap on the build number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once you tap on it seven times, uh, developer options or developer mod will enable. And down here, you can see developer options appears so from the settings go into developer options and if we uh, go down and uh, find animations you can uh, um, change it so we just have to find or you can do the search so you can see here it's got uh, animations so animator durations uh, scale so there it is down here. So by default it is set to 1x. So you can uh, reduce it down to 0.5. If you um, really want it, you can even uh, turn it off. But if you want to have a bit of animations on your phone, you can uh, um, go down to 0.5 and select that. You can also change other things as well, such as uh, transition uh, animation scale. So you can change it down to 0.5. And you can see other things such as uh, window animation scale. You can change all of them down to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And so change all your animation down to 0 0.5 so that when you um, open up certain apps, it will open up straight away very quickly without having to wait. Okay, the next one is um, turning off the Bixby keys. Now, if you don't really use uh, Bixby, you can uh, turn it off because Bixby always running on the background, uh, waiting for your commands. So on the left hand side here, press on the Bixby key. Then if you tap on the menu key here, then tap on settings. And in uh, settings, tap on Bixby key. And then tap on press twice to open Bixby. So um, we will um, switch it off uh, instead of uh, having it on all the time. We can uh, press it twice so that even if you um, accidentally press on the Bixby key, nothing will happen because that sometimes definitely, definitely can cause uh, you to have some delay, such as uh, if you're watching YouTube videos and you accidentally uh, press on the Bixby key, then it will uh, turn off YouTube and uh, Bixby will come up. Okay, and number three is the screen resolutions. Now with screen resolution, if you have on a max resolution, then that can uh, not only slow down your, your, your phone, but can also use up more battery power. So here's how you can uh, uh, lower it down so swipe down and tap on the settings icon and you want to go into display and in display go down to screen resolution and you want to change it uh, if it's on WQHD plus you want to lower it down to FHD plus I think that is an average which is a very good size now if you want to go lower down to HD plus you can also do that but I find it's best if you choose the one somewhere in the middle, so on average. So FHD plus and that can help um, speed up your phone plus uh, will will preserve more battery power. Another thing is to um, set the wallpaper to static. So a lot of animations on the background can cause problems. So uh, we want to change the wallpaper to static. So it's on uh, the home screen or just tap on the home key to go back to your home screen. Then tap and hold. And you want to go into wallpaper. Now from here you can uh, tap on view all. And then cho choose a, um, a wallpaper that is static, not animated. So I'm going to choose one. And then set as wallpaper. So make sure that you don't choose any wallpaper that has uh, animations or motion effects. 
Okay, and number five is to um, download apps with high rating only. So when you uh, download apps from the Play Store, make sure you, you have download high quality rating apps. You don't want to download any apps because they can cause um, your phone to slow down and always display the advertisement. Uh, if you install an app with low ratings and basically it always monitor your action your usage of the phone and it will display advertisement accordingly and that can uh, slow down your phone as well as uh, giving you annoyance annoyances so go into the play store and make sure that you download apps with high ratings such as 4.6 or 4.5 r8 uh, as you can see here um, for example a lot of people install the weather apps and some apps can give you very low rating and display a lot of advertisement so make sure you only download and install high rating apps if any apps that you don't think um, you want to use you can uh, uh, disable it or remove them so you can swipe down go into settings and in uh, settings we can uh, go into apps so go into apps and here so go down and remove any apps that you don't think you're going to use so for example if that one there you're not going to use we can go in there and uninstall it you can also uninstall it from the home screen so from the apps uh, from the app screen so from the home screen you can tap and hold and then tap on or choose on uninstall and that will uninstall an app sometimes you may download an app to use um, only once and then after that you don't actually use it again so you can uh, uh, remove them from your phone if you don't use them anymore so tap and hold and then tap on install then tap on ok and that will remove the apps from your phone permanently okay number six is to display uh, disable any blockware or um, any software that you don't use on your phone so uh, samsung may come with some of our uh, built-in apps that um, can be quite um, useless so you can uh, turn it off or you could use a uh, package disabler to, uh, to turn it off as well so I've got here APK uh, manager I use that to uh, turn off some of the apps that I don't want to use uh, for example this Amazon Assist I don't think I really need them I can uninstall it uh, you can also do this uh, manually so it's a uninstall Amazon Assistant then uh, you don't have to um, you don't have to do this uh, use the app manager you can also do it uh, manually so I'll show you how you can do it manually so you just swipe down tap on the settings icon and then go into apps and in apps you can go down and then go through uh, what you want to remove and then uh, you can remove it for example this APK manager if I don't want it I can simply tap on install and that will remove uh, these apps from the phone and any other apps that you you don't want to use for example uh, there's one called briefing and um, you can simply disable it if you don't want to use it so simply disable the app and that's it so you can go back here and then choose any other um, built-in apps that you don't want to use you can disable it right, for example email here if you don't use the built-in email you can uh, uninstall it or remove it and uh, or disable it some apps you can install while other apps you can only disable so go through there and then choose which, which one you want to use so for, so for example this one here excel it is uh, built in so i'm going to disable it and if you want at a later time you think you're going to need it you can uh, go back in here and enable it again okay number seven is to stop um, installing this free antivirus software that you have you can see on the phone here um, a lot of people installing um, the free antivirus now they can um, you know they don't do anything much uh, apart from displaying a lot of ads because um, with your Samsung, Samsung Galaxy S9 it has a built-in security that you can actually use uh, and scan to uh, check for uh, threats on your phone now from the settings we can go into uh, device care and go to security and you can see in here we can uh, use uh, the built-in security to scan for your phone for any threats that uh, may uh, cause your phone to uh, crash okay the next one is um, the one-headed mode uh, number eight is uh, to disable one-headed mode because they can slow down the home screen uh, if you don't really need them you can uh, turn it off they basically just make the screen smaller so that you can easily manage the screen with one hand 
so if we don't need it we can uh, uh, simply uh, switch it off so it is in settings so go into settings and then in uh, settings you want to go down and tap on advanced features and in advanced features you want to go down so somewhere in here with motions and gestures and then in here tap on one headed mode and switch them off and uh, you don't really need it because uh, it's only if you want to use it with one hand they can slow down the home screen okay number nine is to uh, clean up your home screen and make it nice and tidy when the home screen is nice and tidy you can easily access the app that you want to use rather than have to go through a lot of apps on different kind of home screen you can see there are so many screens i have here and so many different apps icon some of them i don't even touch it for months and months so you can clean up uh, the home screen over time this apps icon on the home screen can cause your phone to slow down so um, you want to keep it nice and tidy so that when the phone boot up or when the phone restart or when you turn on your phone um, it quickly and only shows the essential uh, apps icon that you need to use so keep them nice and tidy for example one home screen only a couple of uh, icons that you really need if you really need other apps uh, that you use once in a while for example once in every few months you can go into the app screen to launch them and number 10 is getting a high quality SD card now you may not, may not uh, realize it but there are different uh, SD card speed and different quality so here you can see I've got the, the Samsung uh, SD card now some some brand they are very cheap and basically and they are slow and they are not reliable so having a poor quality SD card can uh, slow down your your phone because every time your phone reads and write to the memory card if it's right slowly it can uh, cause the phone to slow down and if it reads slowly it can also um, cause the phone to slow down especially when you install apps data on the SD card or when you are watching um, video files that you store on SD card that can definitely uh, slow down your device so always get a good quality um, SD card and get the one with high speed that can definitely speed up your phone uh, in terms of uh, memory storage okay number 11 is to optimize your phone memory so um, apps over time can leak and cause your phone to um, uh, slow down uh, um, an app that has a memory leak will definitely um, uh, drag your phone performance down uh, heavily and also any um, apps that you haven't used for a while you can uh, close them up so first uh, tap on your home key to go back to your home screen and swipe down tap on the settings icon in settings go to the device care section and the first thing you can do is tap on memory at the bottom and then tap on the cleaner button so now the phone is going through and check all the background apps and you can see there is 1.8 gigabyte that you can clean up right now that is quite a lot of memory that can uh, be used for other things so tap on the cleaner buttons and that will clean out the memories uh, from the apps that uh, you may or may not need so that's 1.8 gigabyte has been cleared as you can see now other things you can do is um, to uh, go into the apps uh, section so from the settings go into apps and for example um, go down the apps that you think you're going to use that you use a lot for example that one there and then go in there and then tap on uh, memory because it's already been used um, it's already been clear we just clear up everything sometimes you can go into individual apps and uh, clear them up so if I tap on uh, Samsung music it will launch and if we go into uh, apps and we go into Samsung music so in there we can tap on uh, memory and uh, sometimes we can also clear the data in there here in um, storage you can tap on clear cache and that will clear cache uh, from the apps now don't tap on clear data because um, clear data basically accesses the data that that is used by an app because uh, let's say if you playing a game and uh, if you clear the data that data is gone and uh, it might lose your playing uh, your game playing history so just uh, clear the cache not the data of that game of that app okay number 12 is to lower down your dpi dot per inch values and this will essentially means it will make your screen a bit a bit um, all the, um, 
the, the screen size a little bit bigger now as you can see the font in the display looks a little bit bigger because I have lowered down the dot per inch value uh, by default it is uh, 411 so I have lowered down to 340 which I think that is the average size uh, which is uh, acceptable uh, to use as you can see right here now to get uh, access to that uh, settings uh, swipe down and tap on the settings icon from here you can use the search um, features to quickly find it so if you search for a minimum width it is in the developer options so if we tap on that you can see we can quickly get to that so tap on minimum width and change the value to 340 you can even lower it down if you want I find a good um, average settings is 340 and you can see here by default it is uh, 411 so that is the dot per inch on the screen and you can see it is now smaller so if I go and change it to 340 it is now a little bit bigger and so yeah if you change that you can feel your phone will be a lot faster okay and the last one is now using your phone with biometric uh, security so number 13 is um, setting a biometric security on your device so um, if you um, want to unlock your phone with a pin sometimes it can take time to um, uh, unlock it so instead of uh, putting the pin you can also add an additional security which is um, using the fingerprint or the iris scanner so it can scan your eye or you can simply unlock it with your fingerprint like this so you can see that will uh, speed up your performance as well uh, in terms of uh, usage you can uh, quickly unlock your phone uh, instead of having to um, always put in the pins and that's it that's uh, thousands th of the num 13 things you can try to uh, make your phone run super fast thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos